Okay, it's nine up to we're going to call the meeting of order. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Hello. Can everybody hear us? We all good? Yep. yep. Yes. Good morning. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, can we get a roll call? Mr. Rob? Yes. Michaels? Here. Ammons? Here. Carter? Here. Fire? Here. Casalacqua? Here. 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 Had two jobs starting. First one, Mike Hall. Okay, we need approval of the agenda. So moved, Michaels. Second, Straub. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay, we need approval of the minute for April 9th, 2021. We're supposed to do a roll call and everything. Madam Chair. Huh? Roll call. Agenda. For the approval of the agenda. Yeah, we should do that. Okay, we need a roll call. Strom? Yes. Michaels? Yes. Ammons? Yes. Carter? Yes. You're on mute, mute, Samantha. Yes. Thank you. Dwyer? Yes. Cohort? Yes. We need approval of the minutes for April 9th, 2021. So I'm going to have Straub. Second, Michael. Any discussion? Yes. Drop first, Michael second. <clears throat> okay, any discussion? Seeing that, uh, can we get a roll call? Strong? Yes. Strong? That was a yes. Michaels? Yes. Ammons? Yes. Carter? Yes. Wire? Yes. Cohort? Yes. Uh, public participation. Do we have any public yet? Nope. Nothing I know. I don't see anybody on the call that's, uh, that I don't recognize. <clears throat> okay. We what is this here on vote two nine? What's that? Communication. Communication. I think, I think yes. six was just the Zoom information, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's good. just if they wanted to zoom in as a public participant. Oh, okay. Any communication uh, for the committee? Committee members, any communication? Seeing uh, I need mean, approval of the county and town motor fuel tax claim for April 2021. McGuire, I move it. I'll second, Michaels. <laughs> okay, any discussion on the uh, motor fuel tax claim? Seeing none. Can we get a roll call? Strong? Yes. Michaels? Yes. Ammons? Yes. Carter? Yes. Squire? Yes. Cohort? Yes. Okay, the next thing on the agenda is the county engineer's report. All right. Uh, item number nine, petition requesting a resolution approving appropriation of funds from the County Bridge Fund for Rantoul Township, section number 21201110OOBR. Danny Sage, the Rantoul Township Pilot Commissioner, petitioned for a, uh, a box culvert replacement at an intersection um, of sections 24 and 25 in Rantoul Township. Uh, our estimated cost of that replacement 
is $24,900. And as you know, uh, the townships are able to petition us for half of the cost uh, to do those projects, which typically we will supply the culvert. And in this case, it's a six by four by 56 foot concrete box culvert. Uh, that is our half of the project. And then the township hires a contractor to do the work of installing the culvert and everything that goes with it. So I would ask for your approval of that petition and resolution. I'd like to make that motion. I'll second it. Move and second. Any discussion from committee? Seeing none, can I get a roll call? Strong? Yes. Michaels? Yes. Ammons? Yes. Carter? Yes. Fire? Yes. Cohort? Yes. All right, the next item on the agenda is a resolution awarding the contract for a railroad crossing upgrade on County Road 2200 North in Summer Township and appropriating, it says $100,000 on your agenda, but the bids came in a little higher. So we actually have a resolution that's on your screen and you've been sent a copy of the new resolution that shows a $110,000 appropriation for this project. Uh, section number 1525442OOSB. Um, the bid tab has also been distributed to everybody. I could pull that up. It's here. Um, this is a unique project in that it's it's small in terms of what we typically do. It's just a railroad crossing over a existing uh, at grade railroad in Summer Township. Um, so our estimate was 89,160. We only had a single bidder, which is Ileana Construction Company. Uh, their bid was 109,469. So it's significantly uh, higher than our estimate, but based on the overall cost of the project, um, I'm not 100% surprised that you know this was this was higher. We we use our typical bid items that we would get on a much larger project and our unit prices and obviously with a smaller project like this we just didn't get the uh, the bids that we were hoping as far as costs go but um, for those of you who have been around for a while Ileana Construction Company is a part of Champaign Asphalt um, been in business for uh, 60 years I believe or some somewhere around in there in the area um, I have great confidence that they'll do good work, uh, even though they're a single bid and it's um, $20,000 over the estimate, I would recommend that we award it to Ileana Construction. Um, I do have to forward this uh, award to the Illinois Commerce Commission for their approval so that we can get extra money appropriated for this because none of this money is being paid actually by uh, the highway department. In, uh, in the end, we're fronting the money and then we're getting reimbursed from the Illinois Commerce Commission from the Motor Fuel Tax Fund. But typically, um, I haven't had an issue in them raising um, what they're gonna pay if we have real bids that come in. And I've already talked to IDOT, they're okay with it. We just have to uh, get a formal approval from the Illinois Commerce Commission. So I would ask that you award this and if for some reason the Illinois Commerce Commission comes back and says that they, uh, would not allocate the appropriate funds, then we can uh, we can address that at a later time. Um, but I'd like to go ahead and move forward with awarding of this project so that uh, we can get get things rolling. So I would ask for your approval of that resolution appropriating the funds and awarding the contract to Ileana Construction. I'll make motion. Michaels. I'll second. McGuire. Second, Straub. Okay, it's open for discussion. Michael? Mr. Blue? Yes. Um, just because I'm new and so I'm trying to understand, I, I assume that the reason we can only get one bid is because it's a smaller um a smaller contract than or a smaller job, I should say. Is that true? Yeah, we had uh, three 
contractors actually take plans. Uh, we had Ileana or Champagne Asphalt, however they want to be phrased. We had Cross Construction, and we also had A and R, right? And Stark. And Stark. I guess we had four. Uh, but with a small project like this, um, you know, we we got one. I, I was thinking Cross might bid on it as well, but they did not. Um, but um, and the prices, even though they're higher than what we would like to see. I really feel that uh, as long as the Illinois Commerce Commission gives me the thumbs up, um, you know, we'll go ahead and, and proceed with this project. So, yes. Um, even on our, our $5 million Sydney Road regrade project, we only got two bids. Okay. So there's just not a lot of contractors in this area, actually, that do this kind of work. And for whatever reason, you can blame it on the pandemic, you can blame it on the economy. There is a lot of work going on out there and, and trying to find contractors right now. If you're trying to build a house or do a road or do a grading project, uh, contractors are, are uh, few and far between as far as uh, needing work. So that's why we, we are missing one of our uh, highway committee members this morning because he's got four roofs going on apparently at one time that he's trying to do. So. It's uh, we're kind of in that stage of the economy, I guess, right now. Madam Chair, <clears throat> I have a question here. As I'm looking at the bid, and mm -hmm. I know it really doesn't matter sometimes what pockets individual items go into, right? But it seems like there's a, a large disparity yeah. in the furnished excavation, which is kind of an operator type thing, if I'm looking at that right. Right. But then we've got. Um, I think if I say that right, Scarify, existing yep. surface, yep. and they're really huge on that. I don't know if maybe in our um, estimates that we maybe need to start making some adjustments to what yeah. we have posted. I mean, $30 versus 165 is a lot, and, and I understand it's just right. a formula and it all comes down at the end, yep. but I'm wondering if maybe... Um, it's time for us to look at maybe upgrading some of the things that we um, estimate. Yeah, I mean, this is a thought. Uh, yeah, on a small project like this, we'll take these new numbers that were bid on this into account when we do an estimate in the future. I certainly wouldn't put $165 oh, no. a yard on a large project because no. we typically are around $30. Right. Um, and the uh, $80 a ton for subgrade granular embankment. Um, we actually may be able to save some of this money, to be honest with you, when we get out there and do the project. We may not need quantities that we're showing here, but I'm not going to sit here and guarantee that. Um, but I do agree that um, we need to probably do a better job with our estimates on these smaller projects. Um, we just haven't done a very, very small project like this yeah. in a long time. Yeah. Uh, most of our projects are millions of dollars, so we were using those unit prices and Obviously, they didn't hold up very well to this bid. Well, you're always going to get charged more on a smaller project, oh, yeah. no matter what. So. No matter what. Just, just a thought. It just seems like, yeah, especially that $165 know, a like, cubic yard is just smokes. kind of is a little bit. Uh, but maybe they don't have a good source for dirt. I don't know. We may turn that over and, and turn it into granular embankment instead of hauling in dirt. So sure, when, when we look at actually time. doing the project, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. So we'll see. But. We'll do our best to make sure we, we do it at a, a, a reasonable price based on the estimate and the, and the bids that we got. So, um, and the Illinois Commerce Commission, like I said, uh, typically pays 100% of these costs. Not that that's uh, make you feel any better. It's still taxpayers' money. It's just not coming directly out of our budget, ultimately. For a while, it will. <laughs> <laughs> Anything, anybody else got a question? Okay, I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. Um, so I was, wondering, I was wondering, um, what is your soliciting process for contractors? And I guess so there... Yeah, on a project like this, uh, there's two ways, actually three. We, we send it to contractors who typically do this work for us directly. We have to advertise it in the local newspaper, so it's in the News Gazette, and there's also a contractor's bulletin that IDOT publishes. Um, work like this, when we use motor fuel tax money, 
They have to have a certificate of eligibility, which means they have to have gone to IDOT and got their eligibility certificate approved for whatever amount of money that uh, IDOT will certify them to do. And once they're certified, then they can bid on a project like this. So there's there's a little bit of a process for a contractor to get certified. It's not, uh, you know, we, we don't have contractors who, uh, we you know, nobody's ever done this kind of work and they just come in with a, with a bulldozer and a small uh, truck and, and start pushing dirt around it. They have to actually have shown um, some competency in doing this type of work with IDOT and have a certificate of eligibility before they're allowed to uh, bid on projects like this. Okay, thank you. Yes. Any more discussion? Can I just make a side note? Mm -hmm. Um, Ms. Carter, I've actually given some names to Mr. Blue in the past, so if you have names that fit those qualifications, he's happy to put them on the list, um, and that might be something that we don't know about unless, you know, you have a personal attachment to somebody, but I know that I've given okay. names to him, so if you've got somebody in mind, it's good to do that. Yeah, so I was just wondering, um, like, you know, a more minorities, you know, in, in the word. So I do know a couple of construction companies. So I just wanted to see what the process was as far as uh, applying for the jobs available. So yeah, I'll definitely pass that on. Yeah. Thank you. If if they uh, if you want to put them in contact with me, I can get them in contact with the right people at IDOT, and because I, I don't honestly, we don't do the process at mm -hmm. all. It's not our process. It's the state of all process because we're using their money basically so um, I and I I don't know exactly what all is entailed in in being certified I just know that we have to use their certified list of contractors when we bid projects okay thanks is there any more discussion can I get a roll call Yes. Yes. Ammons. Yes. Carter. Yes. Wire. Yes. Cohort. Yes. All right. Moving on for so um, we have a uh, a striping contract that we do every year um, it's not only the striping on the uh, county roads but it's also uh, we we take bids on behalf of like the village of Sepoy um, the village of Muhammad uh, Muhammad Township Ludlow Township whatever municipality or, or township that uh, would like to do striping in a given year on the roadways and I'm talking about painting the roadways uh, with the center line and edge stripes uh, we take all their information and have one letting so that everybody gets a better cost and price uh, for for doing that. Um, and right now, the uh, we've taken all the quantities in. We sent them down to IDOT. Um, we are a little bit uh, behind the schedule on this uh, for a typical year. We do this in April. Um, so I'm asking that when we uh, bid the contract for striping that as long as the uh, cost of the bid is within 10 percent of, of our estimate that i'd be allowed to go ahead and award that so that we can go ahead and, and start having those municipalities and townships and county roads striped this year and then i'll bring the uh i'll bring the bid tab typically we only get one bid and it's from uh, varsity construction which is a local minority uh, female-owned business enterprise here in champaign county uh, they do a great job and um uh, I would just like to be able to award the contract once we take the bids and, and we'll send it down to IDOT and have them approve it as well. So this is just a resolution giving me the contract award authority for our striping program for 2021. Okay. So I'll move. I'll move it. Jim, Wire. Can I get a second? Straub, sec oh, Straub second. Thank you. It's open for discussion. Okay. 
16 uh, didn't get a roll call. Mr. Ob? Yes. Yes. Ammons? Yes. Carter? Yes. Wire? Yes. Yes. All right, thank you. I do have a couple other items under other business, Madam Chair. Um, just for awareness, and I know I don't know exactly who on this committee ends up on the finance committee uh, for the county, but there is a budget amendment um, at the next uh, finance committee meeting from the highway department. As you know, we did uh, we redid the uh, roadway going north out of Broadlands a couple of years ago, County Highway 13. It was a uh, federal aid project, um, and in those federal aid projects, the state pays the contractor and ultimately bills the county for our share of the total project cost. And we had estimated that that project cost would be somewhere in the neighborhood of $350,000. And we had carried that money in the budget, actually in budget year 2019 and 2020, and um, thinking that the bill would eventually show up for my dot, and, and we did not budget for it in 2021, and then the bill showed up too late in 2021 to be able to use the 2020 money. So the money is still sitting there. It never got used. Um, but we are asking for a budget amendment to go ahead and appropriate that money. We're requesting $345,297, which is real close to what we had estimated um, in 2021, just be put back into our, uh, our federal aid um, pot of money to be able to pay you know, our cost for that project. So this is just something we were carrying and carrying and carrying, and finally I just uh, quit carrying it, and then the bill showed up. So um, you never know. Sometimes it takes one year, sometimes it takes four or five years to get a bill from IDOT on these projects. So um, again, this is money we've been uh, well aware of. We've had it in the budget for years. It just finally the bill showed up. So this is just an amendment to appropriate the money. Uh, I don't need any action from the Highway Committee, Madam Chair. I just wanted everybody to know what it was so that when it comes to the Committee of the Whole uh, that you guys are well aware of, of why we're asking for a budget amendment. Is that that matching money? Yes. Okay. Federal aid matching okay. fund. Yep. Yep. Thanks. Yep. Anybody have any questions about that that I could answer? All right. And last thing is... Um, so we have two relatively major projects going on in Champaign County where we're using what they're referred to as Rebuild Illinois funds, which is the bonding money that the state bonded for and is uh, the locals are getting our share of it. I, we've talked about this before. County's going to get somewhere in the neighborhood of $6 million over three years. We're getting it in allocations of around a million dollars every time and getting a couple of years. Um, to do road and, and bridge projects. It has to be used on something that's going to improve the roadway, not just maintenance money. It has to be used on a, on a construction project. So the uh, bridge up by Flatville, which is the, um, the bridge replacement, the deck replacement that we're doing of $750,000, and also the, uh, the Sydney Road project are two um, projects I'm bringing up an email right here, are two projects um, that the state of Illinois is, has identified that they want to kind of feature um, as rebuild Illinois projects. So um, the governor is going to be here on Tuesday, either here or out on one of the projects um, to do a press conference. Um, and I just found out about all this last night. Um, one of his staffers is coming here to set this morning, probably between 10 and 11 o'clock to meet with me. We're going to kind of pick a site where he's going to do his press conference from. But um, so he's going to announce that this money that been appropriated by the state, $750,000 for the, uh, the Flatville Bridge, and then 400000 of the roughly $5 million project on the uh, Sydney project, um, just kind of, and I believe they're probably going to announce the release of another allocation of that uh, of that Illinois uh, rebuild Illinois money. So, um, regardless of you like the governor, don't like the governor, this is a great thing for Champaign County to be yeah. kind of highlighted. I'm pretty excited about it, um, 
And as soon as I get all the information from the governor's office, I'm gonna forward it to everybody on the county board. Um, they want the county board members there who can be there. They want my maintenance guys there. They want our trucks there. They want people wearing orange dress. I mean, they wanna do it upright. So I'm excited about it. And uh, we're looking at Tuesday morning at about 9 a.m. is what is what they're thinking for the press conference. But once I get all the information put together, we will definitely send it out to everybody. And I would love anybody who can be in attendance to be in attendance. Um, I don't know who they want to speak. If they want um, the highway committee chair, Madam Chair, they want me. Um, they want the county board chair, the county executive. Um, this is all still kind of in the works. So once I find out all that information, um, I will definitely let everybody know. But if you would put it on your calendar for 9 a.m. on Tuesday uh, with further details to come, I will definitely let everybody know. And I should know more by hopefully this afternoon um, where they're going to do it and, and what everything's going to consist of. So um, anyway, we're excited about that. And we're excited to do those projects. That Sydney Road project has been a project we've been working on for three or four years, and that's going to be a great uh, project for the, for the county. It's a highway safety improvement project where we're upgrading the roadway, doing recycling of the roadway so it's green, we're, we're saving lives, we're doing all the right things on that project. So I think that's the one they're going to want to feature in kind of their press release after this area. So anyway, just wanted to let everybody know that and more details uh, to come. Other than that, I am done with my report, Madam Chair. Okay, then. Okay, there's no chair report. <clears throat> and the designated item to be placed on the consent agenda is 9, 10, and 11. All right, do we, is there anything else we need to discuss, sir? Do the committee have anything else they'd like to discuss? Seeing none, then we're adjourned. I think we need to do a motion and all that stuff for adjournment, right? Can we usually do it or not? She just calls adjournment? Uh -huh. right, I've awesome. been in too many meetings. She just lets us lose. So she's letting you loose. It's all over for today. Thanks to everybody for showing up on Zoom. Appreciate it. Have a good and, month. Uh, have a great day. All right. Thank you. Bye -bye. Have a good day. Bye-bye.